Alright, so we've taken a couple days off. We're back in the yard now. I'm continuing with the digging project, getting these water retention basins set in. Um, so last time we saw we moved this uh, artichoke out of the way. And you can see we set up a little bit of a shade because uh, it's still a little stressed from being transplanted, but it's doing pretty good. Uh, just making sure it stays watered and keeping it shaded from the hottest part of the day. Thankfully it's not too hot right now in the winter time. Um, I've also finished filling up these beds. So these are, have accepted all the dirt they're going to accept. Um, I've topped them off with this dirt. This came out of a lot of pots that I had and um, the old garden beds that were over there with a the wheelbarrow. Um, so I've put these on top just to create a nice top dressing for these garden beds here. Um, but that does leave me with a problem of too much dirt. So we had to figure out a solution for that. Um, as you see, there's still a lot to be dug out of here. And uh, this pile over here, of actually, this is a really good potting soil, garden soil here. So one solution we've come up with is along this wall, I can build another sort of a raised bed, but I think I'm going to use um, either some concrete retaining wall blocks or uh, build a little wall out of cedar blocks and line it with, with tile. But something to just raise this area here so that we can add our extra dirt and have a nice planting bed over here as well. Um, that's something, like I said earlier, that I run into a lot when I'm working in these small flat backyards. In order to get uh, the basins lower than, say, the foundation or the porch of the house, because oftentimes, I ran into this in Arizona, the backyard is higher than the porch, which I don't know why lots are graded like that, but it causes that water to, to pool up on the porch. So in order to get that lower elevation, you got to have higher elevation, so you got to have somewhere to put that dirt. Um, if we have too much dirt here, we do have a neighbor across the street who wants to build some garden beds like the ones that we built here, and she'll need soil to fill those up. So we do have an extra place to put um, any excess dirt, and that's an option. You can put it on, you know, Craigslist, free dirt, good dirt, good soil, and uh, people might come and get it. Um, it's just uh, kind of a last resort because I don't really want to wheelbarrow it across the street. But I'm going to continue on working on this. Um, I've got this basin pretty set. Um, as you can see, just a small one that goes around the mound here. And um, now that I've got the basins kind of sketched out, I have to start working on the levels. So what I've done is I've used my water level here. Um, I came up with this idea so I could use it by myself because I need something to hold one end while I hold the other. So that crate works pretty well. But I've used that to kind of sketch out on one of my maps here. It's almost getting blown away. Just the different elevations at the important points uh, on this on this design. So right here, this is the exit point of the water. That's the zero point uh, where the water comes in off the roof. That's about an inch higher than that. And then I've just got some reference points back back here um, on the bricks around that mound. That's two inches higher than the exit point. And the spillway of our uh, urbanite basin back here is an inch higher than that exit point over here. So when that fills up, that's actually going to flow into another basin. It's actually higher than the exit point, so that's why it's its own little basin back there. But I'm going to continue working, um, sketching out this basin over here, and then uh, move on with the project. I'm getting started on this corner. This is where the water is going to enter the yard, and so I'm going to lay these concrete tiles down, and I've just been kind of grading that with the flathead shovel making sure that the water will flow from that corner into this basin. Um, as well as along this, this patio here, I kind of need to dig a bit of a shallow ditch to d direct water from over there into this basin as well. Um, I am running into a little bit of a problem in that. As you can see, there's a bit of an elevation change here, five or six inches maybe. and. Um, I need to lay gravel on that, it can't be too steep, so I might have to cut some of this little mound out, but as I dig, um, it will just kind of take shape on its own, so I'm going to get back to digging. So as you can see, I've finished kind of roughing out this other basin over here, um, 
kit and the general shape of it and the general elevation of it. Uh, I've been moving all the dirt that I have, extra dirt, just against this wall for now. Um, and we, until we can figure out if we're going to build that wall over there or move it across the street. But for now it's out of the way. So this is the general shape of this basin here as it um, kind of extends along the porch here. Um, to this point and from here it's gonna have to go over those bricks or under those bricks I might have to take a brick out uh, We're going to lower this area where these pots are a little bit so that the water has a clear path that way um, For now today what I have to do is move these pots out of the way and start working on leveling the area for We're gonna have a little patio porch here in front of the little house So I've started along the edge of this bricks just uh, pulling a little bit out to get that level down so we have enough room to fit our little concrete tiles. I gotta do the same thing over here so as you can see this tile is just a little bit higher than the, the concrete pad there so I gotta scrape dirt down a little bit here um, give it enough room to fit you know up to a half inch of sand for leveling and, and the bricks um, so we can have a nice porch here. Now that's kind of the last part of the fine tuning of the elevations of the grading in this backyard, so um, I'm going to try to do that and get the paths just more defined um, so I can be ready to put up my bender board and um, get things more laid out. Alright, so I've finished the uh, rough grading of the backyard. Uh, I've got this uh, patio area here. I decided to make that level with the porch of the little house there. This is going to require some sort of like bender board border against these bricks. It's not going to follow the line of these bricks, but it'll look good. I've got the uh, bender board just laid out. Um, I was just talking with the client and getting her approval and opinion on the shapes of everything here. And it looks quite beautiful, um, especially when it's contrasted with the gravel and the mulch. So let me just walk you through how the water is going to flow in this project. So. As you may have seen the rain video, water's going to come out of that gutter and flow across this porch. It comes out right about here where that shovel's at. Uh, from there, that water is going to flow downhill slightly into this basin. So this basin's uh, about two or three inches lower than the exit point of the yard. So this will collect about two or three inches of water. Um, you also see I've dug against the porch here. Water is collecting there anyway. I've also lowered around these boxes here. So that does two things. Uh, it brings a level of the ground below the edge of this, these wooden boxes. That'll keep the, the wood off of the ground, keep it away from the water to help it last longer. Um, we're gonna put mulch in this basin probably. But that'll also help the water that comes off the roof over here. Some of that will actually flow this way too. Um, when it all fills up. And that'll put a little bit of water down in here for these perennial plantings in the bottom boxes here. I don't think the water harvesting is going to affect these tall boxes because it's so much below it, but it'll help keep these artichoke and this rosemary and whatever we plant in there alive longer without irrigation. So that is this lower basin. So that's going to fill up and then as it overfills going to come over here across this path I have to do something with these bricks and then it's going to go out the side of the yard here that's our exit for any excess water now I've also got this upper basin which you might have seen in a previous video this is going to collect water that comes off of this roof from both sides this will fill up first and then it'll overflow right here about where that crate's at and that overflow will go into this basin here uh, because of the elevation differences, I decided to keep these these two basins separate from the lower basin. So they're actually above, and they're just going to be filled from this roof here. So that'll fill up this basin to help water these plants, help water this tree here as well. And then when that overflows, it's going to come across, there's a little dip in the path here, you can't really see, but it's going to come across and drop into this bigger basin right about where this little intersection is, and that bender board's going to be a little bit different, but 
So once this overflows, it'll go into this lower path, uh, contribute to that water, and or exit out the same spillway I showed you over there before. That's the basic plan. Um, there's a little bit more work to do fine-tuning the grading and uh, getting ready to put the paths in. So that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you like my videos and you want to support the channel, you can go out to patreon.com slash jessegrimes and become a patron. I'll see you in the next video.